All right, we are live. Let's fucking do it. This is a cool fucking thing in the background. It looks like the background at uh, Metroid Fusion, I believe, where you fight the final boss. I could, I'm could, i probably way wrong. I only played that game once. Uh, by the way, it's not live. It's only live for me right now. <laughs> for you guys, it ain't. And boss, what we got? Yeah, I could have swore that that last thing was going to be the final boss. I wonder if we can just spam super shots on this guy. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Pulling some fucking... Wow. I don't even know what to say. Like, how am I supposed to fucking beat this guy? Other than to just do this. There we go. Dead. Oh, fuck. Oh, he has another form anyway. Fucking shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking... Um, I'm just gonna have to fucking... Uh, what's the word? Like, just... Just strong arm him with these fucking super shots I've been saving for a hundred fucking years. And we'll use the springboard to get the, uh, the homing fucking missiles that are worthless in this fight anyway. Okay, now we know he's gonna appear, so let's just fuck him up right from the beginning before he has a chance to do anything. There you go, that's how you fucking do it. Holy shit, man. I don't know what. If I didn't have those super shots, I don't know what the fuck I would do. Yeah, I know I did kind of. Shit, he has another form? Hello? No. Oh, you're really ugly looking now, buddy. Yeah, if I didn't have these these super shots, I don't know what the fuck I would do. I, this boss would be totally fucking impossible. I know I kind of cheesed that entire fight, but. I'm kind of at that point where it's like, I don't even fucking care. I mean, technically I did. I mean, I saved the super shots for when I needed them, and this is, I think this counts. Except, I mean, technically, if I would have used passwords and done it 100% legit, I wouldn't have that many super shots. So, so technically it's not 100% legit, I know, but but I, I, I would like to just, uh, I just kind of want to get... You know, I want to get through this in like a reasonable amount of time, and it's already been—I've already been playing this game every day for over a month now, so so I don't feel bad. Let's just keep moving. Do we finally get to go on that damn date? Where does he keep finding all these cars? Like shit keeps going wrong, but then at the at the edge, like the car keeps crashing on. Look out, dream girl! Here I come. Does she have a name, or is she? Just, <laughs> it's one of those like Meg Griffin things. Like I'm writing a letter to my boyfriend, dear my boyfriend. Thank you for making out with me recently. Where have you been? You're late. Blah, 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 blah. That's the girl for me. I'm out of here. Yeah, leave the fat bra that's just gonna nag you. There you go. Oh, the end. Oh, end screen, boy. That is a sight for sore eyes. And dead ass, boy. And the red ladies is nice, too. Right. No, I'm just kidding. Boy, that's just a that's 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 just a, that, those are just robot butt cheeks. Like they weren't even like trying to make that not like sexy. I guess there really hasn't been any like females in this entire fucking game. So there's just the one he keeps saying he's gonna go for. But uh, but yeah, like he he keeps crashing and then keeps landing on the left side of uh of like an asteroid or a fucking flat thing or whatever. Um, I don't even know what the fuck it's called. Just a flat piece of asteroid. And then all the way on the right side, there's a brand spanking new car. And then something goes wrong with that one. So, oh, so in the end, um, so he ditched the, uh, the, the overweight, uh, weird girl with the blue lips that was nagging him. I hate to say it, but that red girl is probably not going to do you much better. So just trick you into a relationship with sex. And they'd be like, aha, now I got half his shit. Now I can just wake up one day and say I don't love him and dump him and take half his shit. Wahaha. Oh boy. Hope that doesn't happen, Bob. I feel like you've already been through enough just to get to this point. Uh, so I guess we're done. That was a really fucking short episode. Blah, blah, blah. 11 on the dot. No problem, dad. You live at your fucking parents' house and you're dating? Not a scratch, you hear me? Never drive again as long as you live. I'm out of here. Getting away from the old man. Huh. 
I actually didn't see that at the very beginning. I thought that it was just gonna go like flip back and forth between the outer space scene and then and the uh, and the title screen. But uh, but yeah, I mean, come on. If you're if you're driving your parents, the end is near. Uh, if you're driving your parents' car, then uh, I mean, if you're like a teenager, I guess it's fine. But like, if you're like a full ass grown adult, then you shouldn't be driving your parents' car to meet a date because. Uh, you ain't fooling anybody, you know. When I worked at Taco Bell, fucking... You'd see these, like, teenagers come through in, like, a $40,000 car, and you're just like, okay, I know with 100% certainty that that ain't your car, so don't even try to fucking... Like, you, I mean, you couldn't have even technically won the lottery because you're too fucking young to play it, but... Oh, boy, the very beginning of the game, back when it was fun and not fucking impossible. No, I mean, I don't know. It, 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 there was a huge sense of accomplishment in beating most of the levels. There were a couple levels where I, by the time I got done, I was so ready to be done that I wasn't even happy. That's the problem with the, um, with the difficulty. They're like, hey, well, when it's difficult, you have a sense of accomplishment. Um, holy shit, not always. Sometimes you're just, like, pissed anyway. You're just like, I'm not even happy that I'm done with it. You know? I'm more pissed that I played the game for this long. And Bob's your uncle? That's kind of weird, with an H. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm, I am glad it's over. Just because, one, it's over, and two, I can get on to the next game. I haven't given too much thought to it, actually. I just was at that point where I was just assuming this game was just going to last forever, because that's the way it was seeming. And uh, I have to... Um, I'm looking to start doing console games. I have to get some RAM sticks ordered... Um, uh, and then, and like, put in, I went to the place in town, and they don't have RAM sticks that are, like, old enough for the fucking computer I have. Um, they don't, like, carry them in store, and I'm sitting here going, like, we went in the computer store, there's plenty of open space in the computer store, so why couldn't they use some floor space to just put, like, older computer shit, you know? And, you know, like, I, you know, I was kind of salty when I left, I'm sitting here going... Okay, I understand, like, I like to support local businesses and stuff, and I'm sitting here going like, well, the businesses would probably have more business if they would, like, have fucking shit in the stores instead of, I mean, actually, the guy, even the guy inside told me my best bet would be to order it online. I'm like, then, then why is this store here then? I mean, I understand they gotta, they gotta supply for, like, the main market share, which is gonna be, like, newer shit, but, like... But there was, there was a lot of space. They, they could have put extra shelving units with, like, you know, like, it was, the store was just so spacious. Like, I don't know if they were, if that's the feel, like, in a sales, you know, like, if the dude is going to be, like, selling you a computer, how, like, maybe they figure, like, statistically speaking, like, there's less pressure if you're in a big, wide fucking open area instead of in a place with, like, like, lots of computer parts. I mean, there was, there was a lot of computer parts, but the the area where they like show off the computers or whatever like the tables they have like tight they have like tables set up just to show like one computer and there was like a couple of them and i'm just like dude the space the place is really spacious so i'm sitting here going like with extra space it seems like they could have had more stuff you know but i mean even if it doesn't move quickly it's still better than using the space for nothing you know but but i mean i don't know i'm not a computer guy i'm also there's probably a lot of, you know, I'm willing to admit that there's probably psychological stuff I'm not aware of that increases sales or or just the way to run a store shit that I'm not aware of. I'm just going from my perspective from a customer in that scenario, you know. It's kind of like at Taco Bell, everyone's like, how hard is it to get no lettuce on a taco? It's like, well, I don't know, how hard is it to make your own fucking food, you know, but... You know, like, if, again, from that, from their perspective, they're unsatisfied, but from our perspective, there's, like, a million ways, there's, like, a million things that can go wrong that can make your order be wrong, that it's a damn miracle that it's right as often as it is. Holy shit. So, I mean, I understand, you know, so I've been on both sides of it, so, I mean, I'm not, it's not a super big deal. I just gotta, this weekend I'll order it, and then hopefully by next weekend it'll arrive, and then I gotta start, and then I gotta, my roommate's actually nice and, uh will put it in for me because he I, like I'm scared to even take the damn thing apart you know <laughs> um 
you're not, I'm not even taking it apart. I'm just I'm removing the cover, and you know, I feel like it's like I'm gonna remove the cover, and it's just gonna fucking explode. Just from me not knowing anything about computers, it's like if I touch anything or if I even look at it wrong, it's gonna like fuck up. You know, like I'm kind of at that level with my computer lack of expertise. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's kind of weird. It, did it play the same? It, did it play the same demo like twice? And now after it played it twice, now it's playing a later level. It's kind of weird. By the way, it kind of looks like Bob has like googly eyes. It looks like his eyes are not uh, looking in the same direction. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but yeah, okay, I think I've yacked long enough, uh, to call this an episode, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.